A big part of this series is not looking up how to do things and figuring things out my own, but I didn't realize how hard redstone is. Hello everybody and welcome back to Roots, the 100% vanilla survival series where we go back in time, back to the good old Let's Plays, and just realize what made me fall in love with Minecraft in the first place. Today we've got a few things to work on. Um, you might have noticed over the last few episodes that there has been an a bit of an animal problem, and we'll go check on that in a bit. Uh, but we have a we had a pit full of animals over there, which I've since cleaned out. And we are doing some work with trying to sort out animals and start some farms and things like that. There's also this enchanting room, which is new. Um, I'm trying to do all these wool roofs a little bit differently from each other, just to have a bit of style, a bit of variety. But we do have a fully set up enchanting thing now. And um, we also got fortune a while back. Let's play a clip of that. As well as some diamond armor, which is really cool, because we had a big mining adventure. But before we get too carried away, let's go ahead and read the comment from last episode. This time it's from Saltano. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the first page. Wait, where'd it go? Where did it go? There we go. Whoopsies305 from episode 5 said, Found a comment of yours on a video called What Happened to Minecraft Videos, or something like that. Just wanted to say your content is pretty awesome. I appreciate that, Whoopsies. Thanks for watching the channel. I've been watching a bunch of old Minecraft content lately, or, or content about old Minecraft. Um, kind of why why we lose the feel of Minecraft. Why we have these like two-week stints where we get really into Minecraft and kind of lose interest. Uh, kind of some of the good things about old Minecraft, some of the things that we can still improve on, how to make Minecraft fun again. I've been looking at a lot of stuff like that, and I hope this series inspires some of that in you guys. Hey boys, how's it going? You hanging in there? Oh, it's so good to see you in your own apartment. I have got to do something about these vines on the path. They are so annoying to get in my way every single time. So this over here is our little farming area. Um, we haven't done anything massive here yet. That's going to be something for the future. But I also had an animal pit back here. So if we come right over yonder, you'll see some of the, um, some, some, still some remnant sheep and things from, oh my gosh, cow, my old animal pit. But there is no longer a ton of animals here. And boy, it was a journey getting them out. Of course, this isn't a whole lot better. In fact, this is this is kind of worse in some ways. I'm going to give you a real quick sneak peek of what I've been working on, and then we're going to cut to some uh, sped, sped up footage of me working on it. But there, see that for a real brief glimpse. But I do want to show you how I designed this thing. So as I said at the beginning of this video, part of this series is that I don't want to be just looking up a whole bunch of things, looking up how to do things. Instead, I want to do my own testing. I want to figure things out by myself. I'm letting myself use the wiki for general information, but I don't want to use other people's farm designs and things like that. I want to come up with it all. So this is the design that I decided upon, and let me real briefly kind of run you over how it works. We've got a sheep up here on some grass. He eats the grass in the center of the little enclosure here. Um, the grass on the sides is just to refill that grass block to make it grassy again so he can eat it. Once that sheep eats the grass, the block on, that he eats from updates, causing this observer to go pow, 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 shoot a redstone signal through here, which goes up here, which activates this piston. You know, this is going to be easier if I just show you. Go away, sheep. Die. Okay, so here we go. Sheep. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shear him, and eventually he's going to want to eat that grass block underneath him. Go ahead, bud. Whenever you're ready. There he goes. Boom! Redstone activates and the dispenser uses shears to automatically shear the sheep. The wool drops down on the ground right where the sheepy is and then is then picked up by a hopper minecart which goes back and forth 24-7. Hey, did it again. Goes into the hopper minecart. This hopper minecart goes back and forth, back and forth over this hopper right here which deposits the wool into the chest. Okay, that's the basic setup. Now we take that module and we make 16 of them for all the different wool colors. The hardest part of this was figuring out how to collect all the wool into a singular chest down here. So these are all just looping clocks. These will go forever. I haven't figured out a great way to do an on and off system yet. But as you can see, 
The farm is not actually nearly this fast. I just put a bunch of wool in the dispensers down here. Um, so basically the difference from these modules and the modules that we saw on that other one is that instead of going into a hopper and being put directly into a chest, they go into a hopper which then goes into a dispenser which shoots it out either in directly into a water stream or, on the case of the second layer up here, it goes and drops until it gets into this water stream. And you can see that as the sheep are sheared, everything goes down this water trail and then is eventually deposited uh, into a hopper here. So that's a real basic overview of how this works. You can see I'm also starting to do some things with cows, but I don't know that that's going to happen this episode. Now, the main difference between the creative world and how the farm works on this single-player world is uh, how long it takes for grass to grow. <laughs> so you can see that I'm still trying to get all the grass in so that the sheep can actually regrow their wool. Very, very slow process. I have one layer almost completed. It is technically working and still missing some powered rails. So I thought we can go on a, uh, an adventure and we can try to get some more gold finish those powered rails and then hopefully finish this farm. You guys are so loud! Get away from them real quick. So eventually what I'd like is for this to be dual layered so it's got all 16 wool colors. One sheep in each, it'll be very very slow but it will be some passive wool income. Um, and then I, I'm thinking we also have like a regular sheep pen or maybe a barn or something where we just have a bunch of different colored sheep and we can just go in and manually shear them if we need a certain type of I think the hardest part of doing that farm was collecting all the materials. Obviously I still even have all the materials, but you can see how far I went to find a swamp once this thing loads. Okay, so here is my little treehouse area. You can see the path that I took to get to the swamp. We went west, and more west, and in this gigantic loop all around the world until we finally found this gigantic swamp over here, in which I found a total of two large sl slimes. I think this was a venture for a swamp in an earlier episode, and I did not- I couldn't find a swamp that time. But I, I finally did. It's right here. It's amazing. I'm gonna toss this beef in the smoker real quick, and then we can get going. I was wondering why this wasn't working. That's a blast furnace, that's why. <laughs> this pickaxe, by the way, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. It's incredible. So one cool thing about this farm is we've got a gigantic cave system under it, which I've got down here. Now there's a lot of things I would like to gather. The main thing is going to be gold, of course. Um, but I also want to be able to get some coal. I'm always running low on coal. So we may try to get some of that as well. Urgh! Now I've done some exploring of this cave system, but this thing is absolutely massive. And I don't think I've even been down this route. I have to say though, building and testing that wool farm was actually really fun. Uh, I'm letting myself use the Minecraft wiki and that's about it. So I got to look at things like hopper clocks and things like that, which I'm still super unfamiliar with. For those who don't know, a hopper clock is basically a way of doing uh, a repeating line of- Oh! Zombie villager. Hello. Basically a way of doing a repeating line of redstone where the redstone keeps looping in on itself like the design I showed you um, earlier. But instead of using redstone and repeaters, it uses just two hoppers, uh, basically, and a little bit extra. Where the hoppers send items back and forth between each other. Ugh. 
and then when one of them is full, the redstone activates, and then when the other one is full, the redstone turns off. It's a pretty cool system. As I said though, I really don't understand how they work still. We've already found almost three stacks of coal, but when it comes to gold, we've got nothing. So we need to go deeper. I also might try to light this place up because I have to hold torches or else you guys can't see a single thing, um, which sucks because I'd really like to be holding a shield. So maybe I will get some torches out and we can light the place up. I'm trying to keep all my torches on the right side here. Uh, that's like an ancient Minecraft technique because I'm getting super lost and definitely running around in circles. Oh, I don't think I've been out this entrance yet. Oh, there's my wheat farm right over there. And there's that village just across the way. That's a cool little entrance. Let's try heading down from here then. There's some lava. This is new. This is new. Okay. Try to block this off real quick. Ah, oh, it comes from all the way up there. Come on, man. Man, this cave has so many entrances and exits. This one's closer to the village over there. Oh, I love the rain noises. Listen to them. That's just so peaceful. Oh my gosh, there's so many mobs. Okay, we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. <laughs> so there's all these glow squids, and they just keep falling and dying. So I just find glow ink sacks everywhere around this around this stream here. Oh, oh, oh. I know it's dark, you guys. Hold on. All right, we're gonna go... See, here's the thing. I figure the deeper you go, the more ores there are. I don't remember. I could look up that graph, but I don't feel like it. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Here's the thing. The deep dark is down here. And I know I've already activated a few times when I was doing some mining before. I activated it like two or three times. Uh, and I really don't want the warden to spawn, because I'm just not into that. Uh, chainmail zombie. Hello. See, look at that. Why is that activating over there? Is that just a bat? Quit breaking my leggings, man. Oh, there's some gold. Just what I need. We really don't need that much of it. I think we're missing maybe... Eight rails? But while we're down here, we may as well use the opportunity to get some other resources as well, because I'm just running low on everything. Hoppers are so expensive. I'm also thinking we use some of this copper, either this episode or next episode, to make uh, a lightning rod. It was storming when I was doing that mining and trying to build up the sheep farm. And there kept being lightning strikes. And I'm like, my entire base is made out of wool and wood. Now I'm half tempted to try to check out the deep dark, now that we've got some diamond gear. Well, the last time when I did that, it did not end well. I died so many times. Oh, what the heck, let's live a little. We just gotta be real gentle-like. Place some torches. The closer we get, the less I can place torches, because it'll hear. Oh, some gold and some redstone. That's a double whammy right there. Oh, I hate making all this noise! <sighs> oh, I need the redstone and I need the gold, but there's so many creepers and noises. We're good. Okay, get more gold. That's great. Now we're just gonna walk. See, I don't... I also don't know what all makes noise, and what does it. I think I have to be sneaking. That sounds right. There's so many mobs! Where's the shriekers? There's two of them. I don't know how that didn't- I don't know how that didn't- <gasps> oh! 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 We gotta go back, we gotta go back, we gotta go back. That's my fortune pickaxe right there. It's right at the bottom of the thing. We'll be fine. Oh, I think I have some leather boots. Those will save me. Yep, leather booths. Okay, we are good. Let's take a fishing rod. That'll be our weapon. We are ready to go. Deep dark, here we come. It's gonna be a little dark, guys, and I need you to just chill out. Calm down. I'm trying to get my stuff, okay? If that creeper blew up any of it, I'll be enraged. But really, all I care about is my diamond pickaxe. If another creeper comes... Yep, 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 yep. We've even got our sword. Shoot, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, we don't need it. We don't need this harassment. Where's all the mobs? Oh, I really want to destroy the shrieker. But I think there's two of them. There's like... Wait, those aren't shriek. Are those shriek? I don't even remember. I don't think those are shriekers. Those are the... Those are the ones that make the XP or something. Is that a shrieker? Why is it light here? The game's very confused. Let's just... We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. There it is. 
I hope that wasn't the one. There. I think we've gotten them all. No, I think we're good. I, th I actually- I think we're good. Okay. Oh, I'm a little freaked out. Huh. What was that noise? Why are there diamonds up there? That's so dangerous. Totally gonna do it. Uh, granite. Sure. Okay. Diamonds. Let's see how, how low we are, too. Negative 28. That seems like, uh, that seems like deep, or not deep dark, ancient city, whatever. Alright, well, we're apparently moving out of deep dark territory, which is fine. I don't need to find it today. I just kind of got distracted by it. That was not on the agenda. Hey, what's, what's this one called? Oops. My pants are broken. Oh, let's not do that. Let's go this way, actually. This way looks nicer anyways. I don't know where I am. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from, Knucklehead Joe? <laughs> Why did I say Knucklehead? It's Cotton Eye. What's a Cotton Eye anyway? Knucklehead makes more sense. We made it out alive! <laughs> We're okay! I thought I'd never see the light of day that rhymed! <laughs> well, here's our haul. We're gonna use these seven diamonds to make new pants. Um, and then we need to start smelting some of this gold. Oh yeah, this was the collection chest I was going to show you guys and then I forgot. But, uh... So here's how it works, folks. We just put down a couple of these, plop the minecart on, and then off it goes. Looks like we have two more that we need to do. Um, I guess I can place some of these rails here. Yeah, that should be all the minecarts. Which means our collection system is working. Oh, the grass has spread a lot! The only problem is, instead of going into the water and into the chest, they are all feeding into these dispensers right now. Wow! Th this has actually been working quite well! Um, the only thing we need is a redstone clock, which tells all these things to keep activating. Okay, now this is not going to be a permanent fixture here. Uh, we're, we'll rearrange this and we'll make it look all pretty when it's all done. We're just doing the first layer today. We are just making it work. We're not making it look fancy. We're not making it super efficient, whatever. We're just making it work. So this is our power source. So every time the hopper clock activates, it will go along to this little line of redstone here and it will activate all these droppers which will in turn cause them to dispense one singular item, which now that I think about it isn't probably as much as I would like it to dispense. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna take out these stupid seeds. Breaking our clock right now. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna put five boats or five. Okay! I think the 16 stack is gonna be like the perfect in-between. But I'm okay with using this for now, um, until we find time to go get snowballs or something. 1, 2, 5, 8, 10, We're still good, 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, the, the 13, 14, then we need a repeater here. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's pretty neat. So our farm, it is working. It is working now. So... Theoretically, we should have some wool in here. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful! You know what? I'm gonna reward myself for a job well done. We're gonna make ourselves our very first diamond sword. And it'll be beautiful. Oh my goodness. We'll use it right after this iron sword breaks. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna throw it in the sheep pit. It'll dissolve into the nothingness that is those sheep. This is mayhem. This is nonsense. This should be illegal. The, the game doesn't even know what color these sheep <laughs> What is that wool doing there? Excuse me. I paid you for a service. Oh, your minecart rail's all stuck up. Hold on. Now, how did this happen? That's not right. Now, that is not bad. And this is with only, like, four of them or so working. It's really noisy. Wow. You know what? Just for the heck of it, we're going, we're going full diamond. We're doing it. It's official. I need some sticks. Let's... Freaking go. Yep. Yep. Goodbye, iron tools. You've been replaced. Get out of here. We're full diamond. All right. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. There has been a lot of work on this behind the scenes of trying to plan out this bill and getting the resources for it and everything. So thank you very much for sticking with me. I do hope you're enjoying the series. If you have any ideas for the name of what I could call that farm, I need like a sheep 
related pun or wool or something, let me know in the comments and I might I might put you in the book next week, alright? But thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and goodbye!